Hey everyone, DJ's Aviation here. Welcome back to another video of mine. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing flying taxis. And yes, it does seem crazy, um, and I'm surprised I'm making a video on this topic so soon. Our news today comes from reports that have emerged over the past week stating that Boeing want to create an Uber service but in the skies. So that's where we get our flying taxi name from. Before I begin, my question is, what would you name the flying taxi if Boeing were to create one? For example, maybe the FT-88, standing for Flying Taxi. Whatever you think, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below, but let's get on to the video now. And this is before I get even more sidetracked. Let's actually talk about what Boeing are planning and why they are planning it. First of all, it's no secret Uber is on the rise. Even still, regular taxi services are needed, whether this be travelling from your accommodation slash home to the airport, or just spending a night out and needing a lift back. The whole taxi service is an essential part to our lives, so Boeing have sensed the gap in the market and are trying to pounce on it. The team at Boeing ideally would love to have electric passenger drones, so flying taxis, on the market within a decade. Whether that is achievable is another story. In my opinion it certainly is, but in this period there would need to be thorough tests, as one unfortunate accident could jeopardise the success of the entire program. So here is what the CEO of Boeing had to say about this whole flying taxi idea. I think it will happen faster than any of us understand. He also went on to add, real prototype vehicles are being built right now, so the technology is very doable. The new era of flying urban vehicles is close enough for the man overseeing jetliners and spacecraft to begin plotting what he calls the rules of the road for three-dimensional highways. From that interview alone, it seems very promising at least today when I'm recording the audio, because as we know with all these sorts of things, the project can be dropped within a heartbeat. And really all it takes is one thing to go wrong, or someone to just simply say we're not doing it anymore, and this whole project just goes down the drain. As the CEO said, the technology is there though, and real prototypes are being built, which certainly signals a good intention from Boeing. Even if this is not going to be made within the next decade, I do believe we will eventually see it one day, and it's good to see they are taking the necessary moves to get this thing running one day. The benefits to having this new technology are never ending, but for me, it means you can skip traffic, and then that's already got my tick of approval for this particular aircraft, if you want to call it that. Of course, if the demand is so high, then we might just quite literally have traffic jams in the skies. And this is relating to the three-dimensional highways that are going to be created if we do have this sort of release happen. Also, another point that has to be noted is where you can and can't fly. That means if this thing does go ahead, there will need to be strict policies in place. Whether the air traffic controllers will also help direct these flying taxis, I honestly have no clue, but I am intrigued as to how this sort of thing will work. Not necessarily solely the benefits, but also how Boeing and authorities are going to go about keeping the skies safe with these things flying one day. So again, let me know your thoughts on this whole thing. Do you believe this is all just speculation and it won't actually happen? or because of what the CEO of Boeing has actually said, that we are closer than we imagined to this sort of thing. I'd like to take the time now to thank you all very much for watching another one of my videos, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace.